What's get up? This is Linux Techs. Love it or hate it, Ubuntu has always been one of the top Linux distros and my personal favorite. But recently, another long time Linux distro has been climbing the distro rank list. Yes, I am speaking about Manjaro Linux. Manjaro has not suddenly jumped into the spotlight but it has gotten there steadily and consistently. I mean, it is polished, fast and it is supposed to be more dependable than Arch Linux. It's just better than ever. So, is Manjaro the new go-to Linux distro? More importantly, is it better than Ubuntu? Let's find out. I will be comparing them both side by side and in depth. And as you know, I'll keep it short and on point. Jumping in, let's begin with the user interface. Manjaro primarily comes in XFCE. But since you don't need to be running XFC unless you are using some ancient computer, we'll be using Manjaro GNOME for this video. GNOME desktop looks pretty good on Manjaro. The desktop is themed in shades of green and dark. The wallpapers and the icon packs look gorgeous. The dock and the top panel transparency dynamics are handled beautifully for full screen and non full screen applications. Manjaro has an overall beautifully constructed desktop except for the use of budgy desktop styled arc menu. GNOME desktop has its own menu and application search system. This arc menu looks really out of place and somewhat obstructs the smooth workflow in the GNOME desktop. This arc menu can be removed from the tweak tool and we are good to go. Apart from GNOME, Manjaro is available in all the major desktop environments including KDE and Cinnamon. Talking about Ubuntu 18.04, Ubuntu has a heavily customized GNOME desktop. The GNOME desktop is customized to look like traditional Unity desktop of Ubuntu. The workflow is intuitive. Ubuntu developers have an eye for detail and always get every small detail right. Personally, I do feel the fonts are rendered much more solid in Ubuntu than Manjaro. The theming is gorgeous and a wide range of amazing wallpapers are included by default. Both Manjaro and Ubuntu desktop can be completely customized using the GNOME tweak tool. Manjaro wins this round as it looks more polished when compared to Ubuntu. Next, we'll be having a look at the stability and the usability of the two operating systems. Ubuntu is known for its stability. I use Ubuntu as my primary OS on which I do all my development projects. Ubuntu might have slightly older packages but they are generally thoroughly tested for stability and are very optimized. The whole dependency and package version management is very harmonious in Ubuntu. Manjaro is based on Arch Linux, which means updates will be pushed to the users on a daily basis. You will always have the latest of all the packages. People generally associate newer packages with bugs and instability. Well, this cannot be farther from the truth as far as Manjaro is concerned. Updates on Manjaro Linux are still pushed only after extensive testing and confirmed stability. Manjaro, although based on Arch Linux, has its own independent software repositories which contain software which are generally more stable than Arch software. This is because Manjaro team perform extensive testing before updating the package versions. Although both these distros are dependable, if stability is your main priority then I suggest you go for Ubuntu. And if you prefer having the latest of all the updates, Manjaro is for you. Since this is a personal choice, both the distros get a point each. Manjaro and Ubuntu both are great distros with optimized performance. They are not far too apart in matters of performance and resource consumption. But Ubuntu does perform slightly better than Manjaro. On larger tasks, both these distros show a similar performance. But on tasks such as opening large applications, operating system responsiveness, Ubuntu beats Manjaro. But this performance boost of Ubuntu is negligible, but still noticeable. Steam officially supports only Ubuntu at the moment, but you can use Manjaro for gaming too. In fact, Manjaro comes with Steam pre-installed on it. Steam and Steam games run fine on both these distros. I'll give a point each for both these distros for gaming as they both are excellent choices for gaming on Linux. But if you want to do some gaming, why not stick with something that's officially supported by Steam? Manjaro and Ubuntu have an excellent community support. 
Manjaro has its own wiki consisting of solutions and workarounds for any issue you might face on Manjaro. And the guides and articles on the amazing Arch wiki are 100% applicable to Manjaro as it is basically Arch Linux inside out. Now mind you, Arch wiki is the most concise, most detailed and professionally maintained documentation a Linux distro has ever had. Ubuntu 2 has one of the best documentation and any issue you might face are easily solved by following the beginner friendly guides on Ask Ubuntu forums. The community is very friendly and the solutions are highly accessible and easy to follow. And even if you have a question that is not already answered, community members prove to be very helpful. The community is one of the biggest strengths of Ubuntu. Both Manjaro and Ubuntu get a point each for community support. My respect and appreciation for the community members of both these distros for the amazing work they put in. Manjaro and Ubuntu both have a straightforward installation procedures. Download your desired ISO, write it on a USB stick, boot into it and run the installer and then follow through the instructions. That's it. It's as easy as it gets. And if you need any help, you can follow the step-by-step -step guide videos that are given in the description of this video. Personally speaking, I like Manjaro. It is fully functional out of the box, has an enhanced usability and provides the most stable rolling release Linux experience. But when you are comparing it to Ubuntu, Ubuntu manages to overshadow Manjaro. Ubuntu has a much more polished structure and Ubuntu aims to provide the user with a smooth, dependable and polished computing experience and it does succeed in doing so. So for today, the winner, not by a huge margin but the winner nevertheless is Ubuntu. Comparing Ubuntu to Manjaro is like comparing apples and oranges. One is built for stability, the other to provide you with a bleeding edge computing experience. All things compared, Ubuntu rises up today. So go ahead and give them a try. The download link for both these distros is in the description of this video. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and your comments are always welcome. Well that's it for today. If you like this video then do hit the red subscribe button. This is Linux Tech signing out.